My name is Juami I Ishaya, and my leg has been like this for most of my life. My name is Rakia Hasana Sunana, and I've had this for 18 years. My name is Watu Nanshad. I've been suffering from elephantiasis for about 28 years now. I'm Dr. Frank Richards, and I work on the elimination of elephantiasis. Lymphatic filariasis, also known as LF, is caused by a parasite. When an infected mosquito bites, it injects the parasite. These grow into adult worms. Over time, these worms clog your lymphatic system so your body can't drain fluids. This can cause lower limbs to grow bigger and bigger. In its worst form, LF is called elephantiasis, because it can cause your legs to grow as big as an elephant's. In men, it can cause enormous swollen genitals. Nearly a billion people around the world are at risk of contracting LF. About 120 million people may actually have it. Most are in poor communities where there is little protection against the mosquitoes. This is Cynthia. She's had elephantiasis for 16 years and it's really impacted her life. I don't feel beautiful and I don't feel happy. So whenever I see my fellow girls, they are dressing you know, normally with short skirts, but I normally dress with long skirts. I have been suffering since all this while because of this sickness. So I don't feel happy. This is Emmanuel. He has one of the worst cases of elephantiasis that I've ever seen. I met Emmanuel near the city of Awiri in southern Nigeria. Emmanuel's legs are permanently swollen. And that's and what is happening is that your body is responding to the lymph fluid. That is the skin on his feet is mossy and rough like an elephant's. His skin is badly infected with bacteria now, and it That's smells awful. What's happening? At this point, the parasite has destroyed Emmanuel's lymphatic vessels, so it's too late to fix his leg. It was difficult for him to accept this. In my younger age, I started playing football even in that much. Like now, I'm not a graduate, which I'm supposed to be. I do not learn walk. I do not have money because it set me back from those things. Because I cannot do anything hard. I cannot walk so long. I can't stand so long. My life today is all about prayer. Hide yourself from me. Don't be angry with me. I keep on putting my hope in God. We can't cure elephantiasis. So people like Cynthia, Emmanuel, or this man, Samaila, their legs will always be like this. That's the tragedy. They have no choice but to live with it. LF transmission is no longer active in this part of Nigeria. Samaila is free of the parasite, but his leg will always be badly damaged and will have a serious risk of bacterial infection. People used to run away from me because my feet smell so bad. It made me feel terrible. I wash my feet twice a day so it doesn't get worse. This is why it's so critical that we focus on preventing people from getting LF in the first place. One way we do this is with mosquito nets. The less you're bitten by mosquitoes, the lower the chance you have of getting LF. The other way is to go house to house and give donated medicines to everyone in the community. The treatment kills the parasites before they damage your body. The drugs are free, but they need to be handed out annually until the disease is wiped out. 
community health workers like Kate here are essential to Nigeria's success. Many of them are volunteers working for the Ministry of Health. What I do for people for elephantiasis is to give to them mectizan and ambandazon. I want my community to be healthy, get rid of sickness. Through the successful uh, distribution of these medicines and bed nets in two states in Nigeria, we have been successful in eliminating the transmission of lymphatic filariasis. I believe complete elimination of lymphatic filariasis is possible. The challenge is taking what we know works and making it happen. Until then, so many people are going to needlessly suffer.